My name is Laszlo Tobar, and I'm a retired professor of radiology at the University of Uppsala in Sweden. I was asked to interpret our most recent article published in radiology about the beneficial effect of consecutive screening mammography examination on mortality from breast cancer. I'd like to express my gratitude to the members of our brilliant research group that has been working for years in order to provide the results of this study that was carried out on more than half a million Swedish women age group 40 to 69. We analyzed both breast cancer mortality as well as the incidence of fatal breast cancers within 10 years after cancer diagnosis. The study covered practically half of the country's ongoing service screening results. Let's look at the cumulative incidence of breast cancers fatal within 10 years of diagnosis by participation status. This is a mortality curve among those we call serial participants. These women attended the last and the next to last screening before cancer diagnosis. This is the mortality of the serial non-participant, those who didn't attend the next to last and the last screening before cancer diagnosis. And these are the women who attended the next to last but not the last screening before cancer diagnosis. And the other way around, those women who did not attend the next to last but attended the last screening before cancer diagnosis. If you look at the cumulative incidence of breast cancer fatal within 10 years between the serial non-participants and the serial participants, the difference is 50% reduction among those who attended the next to last and the last screening. If we now compare the serial participants with the lips participants, we find a significant difference. Likewise, there is a significantly higher breast cancer death rate among the intermittent participants as well, compared to the serial participants. The conclusion is simple. Missing either one of the last two screening examinations conferred a significantly higher risk of dying from breast cancer. Now, you could ask the question, what is the explanation for this? Why does participating in consecutive mammography screening significantly reduces breast cancer mortality when compared to patients who miss screening appointments? The answer is certainly complex, but I'd like to refer to the most possible explanation, which is the mean sojourn time, tumor growth rate, and we are talking about a very practical issue, namely, here is a carcinoma that was detectable mammographically, but for whatever reason was not detected. Now the question is, in terms of years, how many years does it take before this cancer becomes clinically detectable? And there are two factors that influence the mean solution time. Let's start with the histologic type of breast cancer. There are the very fast-growing cancers. That is, there was a mammographically detectable, although missed, pea-sized, small, sharply outlined carcinoma, which within one, 1.2 years is palpable. And the other extreme is when the small stellate lesion or a smudge becomes a palpable stellate carcinoma after seven years. But the most important thing is the middle group, where the cancer grows within two, two and a half years to the palpable size. Now let's look at the combination of the two factors, both the histologic type as well as the age. Every clinician or radiologist has experienced that cancers grow faster in younger women. The mean sojourn time for each histologic type is shorter in younger women, and it's longer, and it varies in women above 50 years of age. Now if I go back to this chart again, Let's try to explain why the woman who attended next to last screening, but not the last, why does she fare worse? Because she doesn't attend the next screening, she misses the opportunity of catching these cancers and they are going to develop to the palpable, more advanced stage. And that causes harm. On the other hand, if we are looking at the other group where women did not attend the next to last, but attended the last screening, of course, also they are going to be harmed because some of the cancers during this period grew to the palpable size. But it is very much possible that some of these cancers were caught in an earlier phase compared 
to the other group that did not attend the last screening. So then I got another question as well. What, if anything, surprised you while performing this study? What is always surprising me that colleagues and patients really believe that it is the modern adjuvant therapy and chemotherapy is mainly responsible for improved breast cancer prognosis in screened population in the modern era. Well, that's not the case. We have just provided additional evidence, which we have known about for a long time. We published it. But the message doesn't seem to go through. People have to understand that participating in regular high-quality screening is the best way to reduce the risk of a premature death from breast cancer. Yes, all patients with breast cancer stand to benefit from advances in breast cancer therapy, but we have provided new evidence that women who have participated in mammography screening, that is, their cancers were detected in a significantly earlier phase, benefit most from the therapy available at the time of diagnosis. And it is pretty clear today that adjuvant therapy and chemotherapy is not going to accomplish significant decrease in mortality without early detection. So the take-home message is clear. There is no substitute for finding breast cancer early in its natural history. So our final conclusion is regular participation in screening mammography is necessary to optimize the reduction in risk of dying from breast cancer. This is a very important message for women and for healthcare providers. Missing even one single screening examination confirms a significant increase in risk. And unfortunately, we are going to experience more evidence supporting this statement in this COVID era that unfortunately resulted in a significant delay in screening examinations.